Hello everyone. It just released the official hotfix for quad views yesterday and I just found out on Discord this morning. I will be disabling the download link for my fix since it's no longer needed anymore. Also in this video, I will show you how you can repair your installation just in case you didn't make a backup of the original file. Also, just to make sure we're all on the same page, this video is to help out folks that use my placeholder fix that was described in my last video. If you didn't use my fix or you already know how to manually swap back to the original backup file, then you can skip this video. As you can see here, it's hotfix appears to be working well in this latest release. Now, if you're wondering why it's a good idea to revert back to the original file, I want to remind you that the original file works with games that have anti-cheat. Since Mbucha spent the time, effort, and resources to get the file signed. I didn't do all of that for my place order fix since it was just supposed to last you guys until it made the official patch. All right, let's hop right into the instructions for repairing your quad views installation. Okay, I'm going to show you one way to get rid of my DLL. Like my DLL is dated from the 11th, right? But what you want is it should be Mbucha's is from like 20. 23 somewhere so what we're gonna do is I notice in order whenever I do a repair I have to actually get rid of this DLL file uh, I'm not sure why I have to get rid of it I guess it's looking at the date or something okay so I deleted that one file but now I have here you see here I have the installer that you can download from that page I'll try and remember to leave that download link in the description for you here I'm going to just click on repair and I'm click finish and yes yeah, it's talking about open XR toolkit but I didn't have to do anything extra when I reverted everything just worked so here you can see here this is what I was saying in Bucha's the original DLL it was dated like 10 20 23 1 a.m. Wow, he was really grinding, wasn't he? At 1.48 a.m. Anyway, it's back on topic. This is one way you can do it. So if you didn't have the original file like backed up in a folder, like I mentioned last video, that's fine. You just have to download this installer and you can do a repair, which is what I did. But just repeat, I had to delete the file. Uh, first, I had to delete this DLL file, and then I want I ran into the repair. Got tongue tied there. Sorry. Okay, that's it for this part. All right, this is the second method. With this method, this assumes that you made a backup folder, and you had the original file in there. So if you had a backup with the original, as we can tell, the original was dated 10 20 23 1 48 a.m. I'm gonna grab this. Well, you can just cut, paste it, or whatever. And my new one was dated, as you can see here, 7-11-2024. So we're going to get rid of my new one. We're going get to get rid of mine. We're going to replace it. Just like that, now we're back to the original. So this is the second method. So if you already had the original backed up, you can do it that way. But if you didn't have it backed up, you'll have to use the other method that I showed in this video. All right, that's it. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully this video made it clear how to swap back to your previous file. I'll be covering more DCSBR content in the future, so consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date. Fly safe out there. Goodbye.